Hey, DM Scotty here. Welcome back to the DM's Craft. Uh, this is episode four, part two, and we're continuing our tutorial on uh, making the boat. Uh, it's a small skiff um, for your games, and uh, we'll continue with that right now. So here's my mast on just a plain piece of paper, and um, I'm going to make the sail. So I want to make it a little bit bigger than the... Um, than the mass itself, so I'm gonna draw up and then go across. And I'm gonna kind of build it up a little bit. So now we'll just cut that out. Make sure you cut. Uh, the lines off so you don't see those lines on your sails. So here's the boat and the mast, and I'm going to glue the mast to it. Um, just grab my hot glue, put a good dab on there, and I'm just going to kind of guesstimate where it is. So I'll put it right there. Just hold it for a few seconds, let it sit, and there we go. We have a mast on our boat. So what we're going to do now is we're going to paint the boat, um, and then we'll put the sail on last. Uh, we put the sail on now when we try to base paint the boat with the black, uh, like we did the other tiles. Um, it'll ruin the sail and make it look black, so we don't want to do that. So we'll do that part last. So now we'll move on to the painting. So here's the boat, base painted, base painted black and all ready to go. Um, I love just using flat black. Um, it uh, dries in seconds after you spray it. Um, so we're all ready to go. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in a variance from a dark brown to a lighter brown. So I'm gonna use a raw umber uh, acrylic paint. I'll spray that on the, or spray that on the plate that I'll use for the palette. And uh, just gonna start brushing that on. And what's great about the black is, if you see some of it through the brown, it's no problem. It just adds some texture. And I like kind of this rough brush. It, it gives it kind of a woody texture. Um, so get all over that boat there. Get on the rudder. And uh, make sure you get the... Uh, get the mass. Dark is easy to miss on the black. So there we go, we've got the base brown on there, and uh, we'll let that dry, and then we'll add a lighter brown. Okay, now I'm going to use a nutmeg, nut, nutmeg brown sorry, to um, bring out uh, some details of the boat. So it's a lighter brown. So I've got my boat, and I'll start kind of brushing it on. It's pretty thin, and I'll go around. And I'm just kind of streaking it. I want it to look like wood, so I'm just kind of streaking. And you don't want to get all in the crevices either. You want that brown, to, that dark brown, to stand up. And uh, so it gives the dimension to the boat. So you don't want to just totally cover it up. Like leave it around the edge. So I got that. I got the sound. Now it's really starting to look like wood. not just a dark brown. Let's see, look how that stands out now. So, what I'm gonna do is um, let this dry again, and I'm gonna paint an even lighter coat of brown on here. And uh, I just wanted to have some highlights on it. Uh, you could actually stop here, this looks really good. Um, you wouldn't have to go to the next step, but I'm gonna take it one step further. So we'll let that dry, and um, then we'll put on the next coat of brown. 
All right, we're back with the nutmeg, nutmeg brown dry, so that looks even more like wood. But I'm gonna hit it with a lighter wood, or a lighter brown, a, it's called a coffee, and I'm gonna grab that on my brush. And I'm just gonna very lightly hit it with that. So it kind of gives that wood appearance. You can kind of hit those uh, edges like I do in the dungeon tiles to kind of pick them out. So look how that uh, wood texture is, is popping out very well there. And uh, so we've got that. Um, so now I have a few more details to paint and uh, we'll f uh, finish this boat. Okay, so I've got a close-up of the ram, and um, I want to pick this out with a gunmetal, so I'm going to use more of a detail brush, and um, paint on that band there, like the, uh, the ram is, is uh, iron shod or metal shod, and then the front of the ram, I'll paint it with the gunmetal also, so it looks like it could do some damage. So there we go, see that looks like it's... Um, got some metal banding on it, so that really uh, adds a nice little detail to the boat. You could actually, if you wanted to, you could actually uh, print a, paint a picture on there or even print a picture and put it on there. Uh, if you had a specific land or area that you wanted to uh, have the boat from, you could put that on there, but this is just, these are just fishermen boat and they're just, uh, it's just a plain sail. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get a little bit of uh, blue-gray and I'm going to wet that down quite a bit. And then I'm going to uh, kind of look, make it simulate like the sail is billowing. So I'm going to... And I'll do the edge a little bit. So there you go. It adds a little bit of detail to the sail. Um, so now, uh, the last thing we have to do is put the sail on the boat and we will be finished. All right, you can see in here the uh, uh, completed painted boat and I've got the sail. So I'm gonna attach the sail to the mast and this boat will be finished. So what I'm gonna do is um, put glue on each of these uh, three corners. So I'll put one at the top, uh, one in the middle, and then one on the bottom. And we'll attach that. And you want to kind of bow it out when you put it on so it looks like the sail is billowing. And that's why we kind of did those uh, 45 degree angles on top of the, of the uh, mast head because you can make the sail look like it's bowing out. And uh, there we go. We got our sail on. And uh, this boat is ready for role playing action. So, there we go. So here we are, I put some figures on the, on the boat just to give you the idea of scale. Um, we got somebody at the rudder, uh, somebody at the head of the boat, and we have two people in the middle. We could actually fit um, three or four, you know, two or three more on this boat. Um, so, nice little craft. Um, and there you go. Hey, DM Scotty here with a few last words. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed this episode. I enjoyed bringing it to you. Um, I think this technique has a lot of potential. Um, you could make any kind of ship from a long ship to, the, um, to a sailing ship, to a ship that sails through the ether. Uh, you could do multiple decks. Um, just do different tiles, and when the characters go below deck, uh, you can have fights that way. Um, so it has a lot of potential. So I hope you really enjoyed this, and I will see you next time. Take care.